GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers. My name is Robert Annan from Raj Kinkosu, Ghana, and you are watching GH Dog TV, the best. Greetings, my name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger, and this is GH Dog TV, your number one dog TV for all dog lovers. If you're new on our channel, I kindly urge you to kindly subscribe to our channel and then hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content. And you can also follow us on all of our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at GH Dog Blogger. Today, the current location is Jowulu Astro Spark. Yes, Jowulu Astro Spark in the greater Accra region of Ghana and today we are here for a dog show a dog show organized by the Kennel Union of Ghana this event is a CAC KUG CAC 2022 an all breed show and trust me there are lots of dog breeders dog lovers right here so we'll be getting interactive with all of them check out some of the activities that will be going on at this show so don't go anywhere stick and stay my name is Solomon you can call me the dog blogger don't go anywhere We are at the Joulu Astro Spark for the KUG CAC 2022 dog show. And I'm right here with the boss man. He is the boss of House of Virginia Rottweilers, the current president of the Rottweiler Club of Ghana, and the PRO for the Kennel Union of Ghana. Peter Virginia Olympio, welcome well, once again. Well, well, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's always a pleasure to be here. Um, Charlie, you know that. <laughs> nice. Are well, you looking very fly today? Charlie, the grace of God. I would like you to tell my dog lovers about this show, this CAC show. Maybe somebody is hearing the name, they don't really understand. Can you tell them about it? Okay, so uh, let me start with uh, what KUG stands for. So I want you to think, anytime you think about welfare of dogs, think about KUG. So KUG basically stands for the welfare of dogs and involves all stakeholders. That's uh, the, the pet owner in the house, the dog trainer somewhere, the vet somewhere, the breeder out there, everything. Once, once, once you are dog inclined, dog involved, you need to be part of KUG. And then we, we, together we can make KUG better than it is now. Uh, so then uh, today's show is um, a CAC show and then it's an all breed show where all, all FCI breeds can attend, be assessed and then uh, we move on from there. So then uh, split into two parts, that's the assessment and then the main show. So for the assessment is for dogs that have been imported and then uh, maybe they have lost their documents or they, uh, someone bought a dog from a breeder never got documents and can't follow up because they can't reach the breeder and all that you come here your dog is assessed once it passes the assessment your dog is entered into the database but then you'd have to breed the dog for four generations to have the full pedigree uh, more details would would be would be in the link down below somewhere and then for the main show so then um it's 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 it's, it's a dog sport where dogs are, are, are rated uh, first of all they are compared to the breed standard and then secondly compared to each dog in the ring so the first process is um, example if i have a rottweiler first process is to compare the rottweiler to the breed standard 
does he meet the breed standard? Yes. But then no dog meets the breed standard 100%. So then there are faults and there are disqualifying faults. So yes, almost all the dogs, even the winner dogs have faults. But then it's not a disqualifying fault. An example of a disqualifying fault is one ball. Cats across all breeds. You can't have a dog with one ball. So genetically, it's, it's, it's an issue. Okay, Mazin is here to continue for us. Mazin, come in. Seen something now. I don't want to mention name. Somebody was eating food, food his own food with that ball, dog food ball. <laughs> Crazy. You know him. <laughs> what is about? He's talking about the dog show. Oh. So we are on, uh, the, the importance of the show. So right now we are comparing the dogs that we stand at. We are done. So now comparing of the dogs, the dogs together with our dogs. So you can take it from here. First, people have to know the importance of showing their dogs. It's very important. It's very important to know how close is your dog to the breed standard. How much he can score. Is it good uh, up to a level that I can breed the dog or no? Now your dog compete himself to be like judge up according to the breed standard then he will compete another dog to see who is closer to the breed standard there is nothing called 100 percent but there is also something called very good excellent good so you compete on that level before you go to different different stages in the show the show is an entertaining day you can see families are here kids are here kids are enjoying that even kids are showing their dogs and winning and people have to be motivated coming to those events showing their dogs like sometimes you get surprised like those shizus there like i never seen those shizus before like people are now getting their dogs nice dogs in the system hidden in the houses dogs are not having fun is it fun for my family my dogs myself i come i compete my friend we have fun i beat them they beat me in categories we play it's it's a very nice day that everyone everyone who is really a dog lover should come and participate if your dog you have one dog, she's pregnant, you can bring her. It's not an excuse. Come. You come yourself. Come and learn. Come and discuss. Come and make connection. Come and see other people's dogs and compare yourself. Judge your own dog. You don't need an a, a official judge to tell you if your dog is good or no. You, you should learn how to know if your dog is good or no. As, as you know, sometimes I'll tell you this dog is winning. Now, you gain experience, you know that this dog will beat the dogs. So people have to have that eyes. Especially the breeders, especially the breeders. Okay, dog lovers are mostly to come and enjoy the day as a fun day completely. But for people mean, meaning business, I have a meal, very good meal. I keep it at home. How can people know that I have that meal? Only people that are linked from person to person. Come to the show, the picture of your dog that is going to go through all the so social media channels, that this dog could win or at least uh, was uh, assessed to be a purebred dog. This is the minimum you will get here. Assessed to be, and if your dog is a mixed breed, you shouldn't be feeling like, oh, uh, like, you, you shouldn't be disappointed. You should learn, like, okay, now I know that this type of dogs I was owning and thinking is a German Shepherd for some, or a Rottweiler. It's not a Rottweiler. It's not a Caucasian. It's not a German Shepherd. It's not a Shih Tzu. Now, what is a Shih Tzu? You come and see them seriously here in the show. And now when you go in to buy or advise or do whatever, mating or whatever, you will know that, no, this is not a Shih Tzu. The Shih Tzu is what I've seen in the show. With a serious breeder like Adon Fupa, like, uh, Rottweiler with Vigilio, GSD with uh, uh, Cyrus. You see serious dogs with serious breeders. People have spent a lot of money to bring those serious dogs to the system. We can't just sit in the house and say, oh, I have a German Shepherd. While you have a mongrel, sorry to say it, but at least you should have that knowledge to know that you shouldn't allow people to shit you and tell you, oh, I'm selling you a German Shepherd, or oh, 5,000 CD, 4,000 CDs, German Shepherd. It's not a German Shepherd. It's not a German Shepherd. That dog is a 1,000 CD dog, but because you don't know, you think it's a German Shepherd, you go and pay and invest that money, and then you come, ah, my dog don't look like these dogs. Yes, you, because you, didn't, you wasn't coming, you wasn't uh, asking for advice from experts. So now, you have been frauded with that money. Now again, you have built an attachment with that dog. Now you have to keep that dog and go to buy what you really want, which is a German Shepherd. Two dogs to take care of now, more money to spend, because you just skipped events like this. These events happen a lot. Dog shows happen, dog work happen, dog fun day happen, seminars happen. People should come and learn. People should, please, you are sick, you go to the doctor, not because he's beautiful, because he has learned. So if you want to know about dog, you have to learn.
I just spoke to two executives of the Kennel Union of Ghana. We have Mr. Mazin of Lion Kennel, the current vice president of the Kennel Union of Ghana, and Peter Vigilio Olympio, the PRO, the public relations officer of the Kennel Union of Ghana. Dog lovers, in case you want to join the Kennel Union of Ghana, pick the contact details on our screen. Give them a call. Give them a call. The contact details of the Kennel Union of Ghana is on our screen. Just pick it up and then give them a call. Now, dog lovers, let's enjoy the dog show right here and check out some of the beautiful dogs that are here at today's show. Okay, I'm Chris C.A.J. Ishak from House of Labella. Okay, okay, okay. So that's the name of your kennel. You're a breeder? Right? Yes, please. Okay. And which breeds are you into? Oh, into road wireless. Strictly road wireless. And I also do um, welping for people. Okay, okay, okay. Nice one. Then even before we proceed, I'd like you to drop out your contact details and all of that. Okay, okay. My contact is 024719 yeah. So that takes me to my next question. Why road wireless? What is special about road wireless? Because there are lots of breeds. I just love them. Because of their color and their magnificent look, like their attitude, their temperament, everything. <laughs> it was, yeah. I saw a dog lover. He's a big dog lover, and he's a boss of House of Labella. Nice one. Okay, so how do you see today's dog show? Well, it's going on well, and uh, I'm hoping that everything will be successful by the end of the day. Okay, so you're yet to step in the ring. Yeah, yeah. Wish you the best of luck. In today's show, but then can we introduce these lovely friends here? Yeah, this is Kwame. Kwame, okay. Yeah, from HOV. Okay. House of Vigilio. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah, and this is also Miguela, but I call her Miguela, but the name is Terra Nova Mona Lisa. That's the pedigree name. Yeah. Terra Nova Mona Lisa. Okay, okay, okay. Nice one. And this this boy is Leon, ten months old. Ten months old. Wow. So that's it. Wow, wow, dog lovers. These are the dogs from House of Labella. In case somebody wants to link you up on social media, can you drop out your social media handles? Okay, so Instagram is House of Labella. L A B E L A. Yes, please. Yeah. Then my Facebook name is um, CJ Ishak. CJ Ishak. Nice one, boss. But dog lovers, I just spoke to the boss of House of Labella. And trust me, he's got some beautiful dogs right here now let's check them out let's admire these dogs
Okay, so I'm here with the youngest handler at today's dog show. I'd like you to introduce yourself to my dog lovers. Hello, my name is Siki. Siki, and which kennel are you coming from? Lion Kennel. Lion Kennel? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I saw you in the ring. You're going with a very beautiful dog. Can you tell us something about that dog? The dog's name is Tiffany. Mm -hmm. I, I, I handled that dog today. I got first place in everything. His name was Ego. He was a German Shepherd. Which award specifically did you win? I, 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 won, I won best in show, um, the starting, okay. um, it was in, yeah, it was in the young, it was in the young um, puppy class, I, I, and I also won open class for the, wow. so I'm going to handle that sigil on that grooming table right okay. there, it's an open class. Wow, wow, so you're going to handle another dog? Yes. Beautiful. Congratulations, Siki. But then before I leave you to go, I know you're the son of Mr. M you're the daughter of Mr. Mazin of Lion Kennel. So let me ask you, how, how did you develop the love for dogs? Is it something special he taught you about the dogs or what? He taught me about uh, dogs. The first time I met a dog, it was only two months. The, pup the puppy was two months. Mm -hmm. So the first time I touched it, I fell in love with it. So when I grew older to five years old, I, I became w way more obsessed with dogs than, than the, when I was younger. Uh -huh. the, w the last time when I touched the dog was uh, I was only three years old. And now I'm obsessed with almost every single animal. <laughs> even, even snakes, but not poisonous snakes. <laughs> I touch snakes, what? <laughs> Come on, I've, I've seen you even touching a lot of the dogs here, trying to um, have fun with them and all of that. That's very beautiful, Siki. Thank you. Uh -huh. and, and then I also saved a dog that I, it's jumped out for no reason from that gate right there. Mm -hmm. And then I went all around, uh, grabbed the leash and bring it back to its owner. Its name is Vivian. Vivian. Yes. It's a German Shepherd. So I can say that your favorite dog is a German Shepherd? Yes. Obviously, just like your father. Yeah. I'm a lion kennel, okay? Uh -huh. Lion kennel also stands for some every love for dogs and German shepherds. Mm -hmm. Every single dog that that you meet, the dog sh the dog shouldn't bite you. The dog should fall in love with you. So so you anytime you meet a dog, don't get scared of the dog. Try to caress it and make it make it um, not bite you. Okay, um, Benjamin, question from Paul Palace Kennels. This is Mittens from Paul Palace. So, so which breeds are you into? I'm into German Shepherds and Caucasian Shepherds. Why these two breeds? Well, um, for a long time I've been in love with Shepherds. They are found to be, they are energetic, they are topmost, they are loyal. They are one of the most loyal dogs I have met in my life. So that's one of the reasons why um, I choose to breed Shepherds. Caucasian. Let me ask you a tough question. Between the Caucasian Shepherd and the German Shepherd, which one would you choose? <laughs> that is a tough question, but I'll, I'll get to his German Shepherd. German Shepherd. Yeah, yeah. Nice one. And now you're, you're at the dog show. You'll be in the ring soon, right? Yes, please. Let me wish you the best of luck as you go into the ring. But then I'd like you to introduce this our lovely friend here to my dog lovers. Yeah, this is Mittens from Paul Palace. The freshest, cutest, most loyal dog you can ever have. Mm -hmm. I advise that if you want to get a dog, then you get a shepherd because you have a lot of fun with them. They are the best and you can also call their man's best friend. Yeah. So how, how old is it? Male or female? Female, nine months. Female, nine months. Yes, please. What do you love about this girl? Oh, her energy, her, her ability to love you, whoever is kind to her. Just like she's demonstrating right here. Nice one, dog lovers. Check out this beautiful female Caucasian shepherd. I'm already in love. Boss man, thank you so much for letting us have you on the show. No problem, no problem, no problem. Anytime.
We are still at the Astro Spark Jolo in the Greater Accra region for the KUG Dog Show CAC 2022. And I'm sure you can see this wonderful stand here with a lot of products. So I'll be speaking to one or two of these people. There are lots of products here with stands and all of that. So let me get to this boss man here. Okay, all right. Boss, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to GH.TV. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I've seen you with these stands right here. Can you tell us some of the products? I'm, I, I presume you are a sponsor of the show, right? Yes, yes, we are. We are. We are Saturday Shine um, Company. And we deal with cleaning detergents. All sort of cleaning detergents. We have over here dog shampoo. Dog shampoo. Let me, let me raise them. one. Yes. Okay. It is F FDA approved. FDA approved. And um, it's good for treating fleas and ticks and other insects on dogs and it's very effective you can also use it for puppies as well so for both the adult dog and the puppies you can use it to treat them we, we also have here um fabric softener for for cleaning our what we call laundry for laundry yes yeah, so if you do laundry you can use our fabric softener here it, it's effective and it will help you very much we also have our multi-purpose liquid soap here you can use it to do clean you clean your kitchen your utensils your house you can use it for washing and every other thing for saturday shine multi-purpose liquid soap you can use it for that yes so basically that's all we have for now we we have other products that are not here but you can contact us also on the number zero five zero um one eight eight six zero one zero five zero five one one eight six zero three yes if you have this um we can give you any of our product if you want them in bulk purchases soon and you contact us we can come to your shop we can even do personal delivery if you call on us so that um we can do business thank you very much you're always welcome dog lovers you heard it not just for dogs not just only dog shampoos they have some for cooking utensils fabrics and what have you just link up with them right here boss man thank you so much for letting us have thank you very much thank you very much thank nice you. One. so we move to the next stand over here we are still at the kug dog show okay the cac 2022 and the location is the astro spark joulu so i have this beautiful lady here well wow, welcome to the show hello yeah, i'd like you to introduce yourself to my dog lover okay my name is Gina and I'm the owner of Polish Pet Shop located at Adenta, Lodowa Road. Yes, I'm opposite the engine filling station. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you're one of the sponsors of this show. Yes, 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 I am. I am. Beautiful. Now, can we have a look at some of the products you, you have here and all of them? Okay. I have, I have on my right hand side a puppy starter. It is a, a, my own formulation. I, I do this to assist the growth of puppies. We all know how important it is to win your puppies. If you do not win them right, they do not get the right size they need. So with my formulation, it helps with their bone and the muscle development. Good for their skin, for their eyesight, even for their joints. For instance, you may, you may be having a convalescent dog, an adult dog. If you want it to have um, a right size, or if you want it to recover from its illness, you can use this to shoot it up or give it a very good um, start. Let's say that. And then with the puppy too, you just add milk to it. You dilute milk with warm water and then you add it to it. You pour it so they lick it or they eat it. You can equally add your vitamins, your preferred vitamins to it. But I already have some vitamins there. So if you don't want to be too concentrated, let's just stick with this for for the start. And it should be fine. Yeah. That's, 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 that's beautiful. I have the pedigree canned food here. I have the petal heat. I believe most of uh, my customers who use petal heat for their females get the right results. For instance, if you have a female who does not come on heat on time, or um, a slow on in iron you can use this to shoot it up and then it will come on hits quickly yes and then i have the process vitamins here also very good for their muscle development so an overall health vitamins here i have the prasivet the warmer i have my gc which is one of my main products i sell 
I do both wholesale and retail for that. Yes. So if you need some in large quantities, you can contact me. I have the short room. I have the Oxy Tetra Vet Spray, an aerosol spray. After your surgical operations, after, um, let's say, the dog has a wound on the ear, you can use this to prevent inflammatory and then viral infections. You just spray um, some on the ear or on the wound, and then it will be healed in no time. I have the shampoo here, also from GC Products. I have the heart shampoo from the United States of of America and then I have the harness. I have harnesses for all stages. I have big mild guards here. These are muzzles for very big dogs. Dogs with big heads. So you put their head here and their mouth inside. Then you lock it at the back of the neck. It is quality made of leather and it's all affordable. Very beautiful production. So in case somebody wants to link you up for bulk pages, wholesale and all of that, or maybe contact you, I'd like you to drop out your contact details. Okay. 0545 The name is Gina or Polish Pet Shop. I'm on the Adenta Dodora Road, opposite the engine filling station. Nice one. Okay, so we move to thank you so much for letting us have you. welcome. Okay, all right. So we move to the next stand here. Okay, I think let me let me have a seat here and speak to this beautiful lady here. Okay, good day. Good day. I'd like you to introduce yourself to my dog lover. I'm Beatrice, a representative for Pet Revival Centre. So we we are the sole distributors of Happy Dog, and at a Happy Dog we have different types. So we have from puppies to adults. And puppy, you have baby starter for from four weeks. So you start with them from four weeks. From four weeks, then you move to the uh, baby original. So we have milk as well, happy dog milk. Then we have the adult food. And another adult, we have the gold performance, which has 34 protein, 24 fats. And we have the sensitive, which has 24 protein, 14 fats. Then we have the sportive. For the working dogs, which have 26 foot and 16 foot. Before we have something for mini dogs, for the poodles as well. We have the uh, mini baby junior for when they are puppies. And we have the mini adults. Some of the products so that they can, my dog lovers can see them. Okay. So the mini adult is for the poodles when they are adults. And we have for their puppies as well. And we don't do just in Happy Dog, we sell their shampoo, we sell vitamins, we sell quality leashes, dog bones, colors, chains. Basically, we sell everything about dogs. And we do in dog training as well. We do boarding as well. And we are located behind Trade Fair in Shadow, just before Big Shop Classic. So we can pass by, we have quality staff, and we, we do in the best products as well. And you can call us on 030-27-919-52 or 0548-572925. You can WhatsApp us on that as well. Yes.
Okay, my name is Lebene Ajoi, uh, the CEO of Primo Post, and I have my team here. I'm properly called Papa G. I have Eugene, and this is my son, it's Likem and Samson. We make out the Primo Post. Fantastic, fantastic. One thing I love about the whole team is how you're in your branded shirts and all of that. Very decent. Correct. We just want to make people know the brand. That's why we branded ourselves. For sure, for sure. Beautiful. So which breeds are you into? I'm into Canicoso and German Shepherd. Yeah. So why these two breeds? Is there something special about these breeds? Well, I started with German Shepherd. I'm doing the lockdown. My sons, because of the lockdown, they really wanted a pet at home. But um, I've loved dogs growing up. So, okay, this is the right time for me to get a dog. So I got a German Shepherd for the kids. And the love just came back. And that's okay. Well, let me start the breeding again. So that's how come we're now going full into breeding. Yeah. Before I even allow you to introduce this beautiful, wow, very shiny coat right there, dog lovers, check this beautiful dog out. Let me ask you, how do you see today's dog show? I saw you in the ring earlier okay. on. Yeah, we've, we, uh, we've had some medals and some trophy already from our Canicoso puppy called Cannavaro and our um, German Shepherd also called Judo. So we had um, best in show, second best in show and also promising meal for the, uh, for the Canicoso called for the German Shepherd called Judo. Correct. Congratulations to the whole team right here. Now, before I move to another place, I'd like you to introduce this beautiful dog here. Kali, up. So she's Kali. Yeah, she's 16 months old. Yeah. Um, we normally call it the Royal Black. Yes. So that's Kali. What do you love about Kali? Kali, so lovely around the kids. So she's always indoors with the kids. I can go out and leave her with them. Good temperament, very confident. At night, her security nurse comes in again. So that's Kali's speciality. Yeah. Nice one, boss. But in case somebody wants to link up with you, I'd like you to drop out your contact details, social media handles, and all. Okay, the name again is Primo Post. Yes, my phone number is 0204-532364. And we are located at OEB. Yeah. Adenta Road. Adenta Road, yeah. Okay, so I'm with this beautiful lady right here and she's brushing this beautiful dog and she's in this beautiful t-shirt, the Shizu Club of Ghana. Wow, 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 nice one. I'd like you to introduce yourself to my dog lovers. Okay, my name is Gospel and I work with Adam Fupa. That's Adam Fupa Pet Care? Yeah, Adam Fupa Pet Care. So for my dog lovers who are hearing of it for the first time, which breeds of dogs are you into? It's uh, Shih Tzus. We do Shih Tzus and um, Wobbles, but here with me is a Shih Tzu. Can you tell us something about this dog and what you are doing right now? I've seen you with this brush and all of that. This is Tiffany. Tiffany is about a year old. And um, we are here for the show. No, not six months. She's a year old and trying to prepare her for the show. So this, yeah. So I'm trying to a pre-grooming? Yeah, trying to put her in shape. So get ready for the show. That's beautiful. But then um, let me ask you, um, how do you see today's dog show? Well, I, it's pretty good, it's nice, the atmosphere is okay, everything is fine, good. You're really having fun? Yeah, I do. I'm having fun. Thank you so much for letting us have you on the show. You're welcome. Right. So dog lovers, check out this beautiful Shizu right here with the beautiful lady gospel. Now, wow, very beautiful dog. Just check it out, just check it out. Whoa. So we move on to the next dog. I see this. Whoa. Let me get to this boss man here. Boss, welcome to the show. Thank you, Solo. Okay. Let me allow this boss man to introduce himself first. Yeah. My name is Samo, so um, with the busy bee kennel. Yeah. Nice one, big boss. What about you two? Yeah, I'm Shikomi. Properly known Shikomi. Uh -huh. And that's my brother. From Busy Bee. Busy Bee Kennel. Which beast are you into? Um we are I would say they are shower type of breeders and we, we basically have almost all the breeds. Yeah, Caucasian, Pitbull, Maltese, Shizu, Yorkshire, Boa, name them. And it's like, I, I thought you were into just Shizu and Yorkshire Terriers. <laughs> no, I do have other big dogs. Yeah, I do. 
Yes, that's beautiful. Where are you located? Your social media handles and all of that, in case somebody wants to link up with you. All right, so we are located at Medina New Road, and our social media handle is BZB Kennel on Instagram. Beautiful boss. Now, can you um, introduce our lovely friend here for my dog lovers? I wish he could stand up so that they could really see. Okay, is a he? Um, it's called Survivor. The name Survivor because um, it was the only Survivor dog in the litter. You know, they they all got um, infected with Pavo, and then he survived, and then we named it Survivor. And then since then, he has been doing so marvelous and. None of his puppies have even, even gotten, so he's, he's just a champ. A big giant here we have here. Yeah. Check out Survivor. Can I touch him? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, such a sweet boy. Such a sweet boy. Dog lover. Check, check, check him out. Whoa. You're a good boy. Yeah. Whoa. Dog lovers. I just spoke to the boss of BZB Kennel and this beautiful Caucasian Shepherd here called Survivor. GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers.